Hello, world, I guess. Congratulations. By the time you see this, there will be no more superheroes. You're getting a chance to heal. Me? I'm Rachel Gardner. I'm the last superhero. Though, not yet the last. Not yet a superhero. 30 minutes from now I'll be dead. So, there's time. Can you imagine? Me, who never took a stand on anything. Saving all of you. At the cost of my life. Well, here's my other last deed. 30 years from now, 100 years from now, you won't remember what it was like. You'll start thinking superheroes are good. You'll bring them back. They are a cancer on humanity. We're a cancer. I'm... I'm not. But I will be. I will be a cancer in 29 minutes. There's time. You should know what happened to the world. This must never happen again. The first superhero was created 320 years ago in the year 2015. His name was Donald Burkhoff, an engineer, 27 years old, good looking, seen his pictures all over. There was some kind of of serum, a concoction followed by a series of radiations created by Dr. Michael Wallach. Turn him into an immortal god. Nothing could physically hurt him. He could fly, super strong, super fast. He was a citizen of a country called the United States. What today is called the United Emirates. With his health, his country fought wars it didn't have to. And won. He was considered a hero. But he wasn't really. He thought being a hero was all pluses, no minuses. He didn't know about the price. No one did that first year. During that first year, Two more superheroes were created by the United States. Ashley Coulter, a kindergarten teacher, and Margot McKee, the doctor's mistress. Almost a year after Donald Burkhoff became a superhero, he collapsed. His brain was fried in some way by the serum. He was still alive, still breathing, still blinking. But he never spoke again. He never moved on his own. But he was still invulnerable. He couldn't be killed. Oh, and he didn't get old. He doesn't get old. Still alive today. 320 years later. So I'm in a museum once. In full costume. It's very impressive. Supposedly he'll never die. He breathes, but he doesn't have to. He can survive space, drowning, anything. Except I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill all of them. Even you. Even me. So, he was gone. A super vegetable. A few months later, Ashley Coulter, the kindergarten teacher, turned into a vegetable. And a few months after that, almost exactly a year after she'd become a superhero, the mistress's brain went too. Without superheroes to protect him, 
Dr. Wallach was kidnapped by the Chinese. Same China we have today, only it wasn't an empire yet. They tortured him. He gave them the secret to the serum. Now China had superheroes. Volunteers willing to sacrifice everything to serve. So the United States had to make more. The volunteers now knew what would happen. They, they sacrificed the, the rest of their lives to serve their country for a year. And now the two countries had a superhero war on their hands. <laughs>